Welcome back to Walking with Christ. Um, my name is Sister Pomeroy, and we're here today with Jillian Olson. I'm so excited to talk to her a little bit today. Um, we would love for you all to ask any questions or any comments that you have um, down below in the comment section, and we will have some people um, answering your questions and responding um, right there for you. So, all right, let's hop right into it. Um, okay, so Jillian, the first question I have for you is just, for you to tell me a little bit about yourself. Who who are you? Who is Jillian Olson? Um, well, my name's Jillian, obviously. <laughs> um, I'm 17, I'm from Rockland. Okay. Um, I have a younger sister, and I love to just hang out with my friends, watch the sunsets, get oh my gosh, sushi. I love sunsets. Yeah, they're the best. Yeah. And I love gymnastics, and I teach gymnastics. Oh, that's super fun. Oh my gosh, okay, super cool. Um, okay, well, now we know a little bit about who you are, um, but we want to just, I mean, the show is called Walking with Christ, you know, um, we like to talk a little bit about Jesus Christ. So um, the question I wanted to ask you is just, who is Jesus Christ to you? Um, to me, Jesus Christ is a friend and someone who I can look to when I'm feeling like troubled or I'm going through trials, just someone I know I can talk to and that is like there to protect me and there to listen to me. I love that. I, I love how you said that he's your friend. You know, mm -hmm. I think we we can have so many moments in our life when when we do feel alone or scared mm -hmm. or sad. Um, but when when we have Christ as our friend, you know, he, he's always there with us, yeah. which is so cool. Um, so I don't know, have you, what exactly does friend mean to you with Jesus Christ with that? Um, it just means to me that when I know there's something I'm going through and maybe I feel lost and I don't know who to talk to, I can always talk to him and mm -hmm. that um, I can say a prayer and just wait for like a response or like, like, I guess, revelation from him and just know that he's there and not to judge me and that I can be honest. Yeah, I love that. Um, he, he really is somebody, you know, that he's perfect, you yeah. know, so he's always going to. He's going to accept us and love us and take care of us. You know, like, he, he understands when we do wrong and, like, yeah. when we're messing up. And he's not going to, like, condone that. Yeah. But he, he loves us unconditionally, which mm -hmm. is so incredible. So thank you so much for saying that. Um, so with, with all of these attributes that you've given us of Jesus Christ, how, how have you come to know those things? Like, tell, can you tell me a little bit, like, about your experience with that? Yeah, um, a big thing for me is prayer. I, whenever... I'm going through a trial or anything, I just know that I can pray. And I've come to know like Jesus like that by through prayer and knowing that I can just be vulnerable and speak. And then um, also that when I'm going through trials or like looking through, looking for signs, like I've seen signs of like Christ in my life. And that's mm -hmm. a huge thing, I think. Yeah, that's incredible. You know, I, prayer is so important, you mm -hmm. know, especially just consistent prayer so I think yeah. that's I don't know that's just so cool that you've you've found that connection and that that growth through him um, yeah and you know just communication with yeah. him um <clears throat> so you know you've recently been baptized a couple months yeah. ago and you um <laughs> were able to join the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints um so I just wanted to ask you a little bit about that experience and um like that decision especially like how did you come to that decision um, to join the church and get baptized? Um, well, I've been, sp I was speaking with missionaries and like meeting with missionaries for maybe a little less than a year, maybe about a year for quite a while. And I was never unsure, but I just wanted to learn more about like Jesus Christ and the church and how I can be involved and like how I can serve like Jesus Christ and feel like his love. Mm -hmm. Because before I was I never really understood like you can pray and talk to him. Yeah. So again, like through prayer and reading my Book of Mormon um, with my friends, we would read the Book of Mormon and like yeah. talk to each other about it. And just reading that and kind of understanding the story and then going to events like mutual and seminary and things like that. And just each time learning more and understanding like, this is something I want to feel in my day-to-day -day life and I want to serve Jesus and like I know that he wants to serve me and that he has a plan for me yeah. 
uh, that was a big thing and like realizing that everything kind of happens for a reason and that Heavenly Father like watches how we go through that. Just knowing someone was there was a big, huge like turnaround for me, kind of understanding that. Yeah, I love that. That is so cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, so from that, I guess backing up a little bit, how were you first like introduced to the church and how did you first start this journey? Um, I had a group of friends. I had like two groups of friends and one of them was full of members and they had invited me to church kind of as like a joke in our, yeah. in our like group chat. We were like, mm -hmm. oh, you guys should come to church because none of us had been that weren't members. Mm -hmm. And we went and I was like, oh my gosh, this is really cool. It was a fast and testimony meeting. Mm -hmm. It's like, this is so cool, like hearing everyone's testimony yeah. and all of that. So I went for a couple more months and then um, a friend who's now serving in Temple Square introduced me to Sister Dana and Sister Price and not Sister Dana. <laughs> no worries. Sister, oh my gosh. Dunn, Sister think, yeah. Dunn. Yes, Sister Dunn in the YSA ward. And mm -hmm. they kind of introduced me to it. And we had met. And then I met you and Sister Ika. Mm -hmm. And I just went through a bunch of missionary meetings, missionary discussions, yeah. <laughs> and kind of learned more about it. And that's when I started thinking about getting baptized. Yeah, that is so cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. You've had such a cool journey, you know, yeah. just from coming just as a joke, I yeah. guess. But like, <laughs> I don't know. No, that's cool, though. Just, you know, because church, you know, just when you go there, you just need that that moment where you can feel mm -hmm. God's love and feel his presence. Yeah. Um, especially through other people's testimonies, you yeah. know, as you as you shared. And now you have your own testimony and you've been able to to learn and grow and have that personal witness and that testimony for yourself. Yeah. Is, I was surrounded by a lot of people who would share their testimonies with me and their experiences, how they've seen like God's hand in their life. Mm -hmm. And I remember one night I was speaking with one of my friends and she told me about how she had sinned and then she just prayed to God to forgive her for her sins. And she like just felt the spirit so strong with her. And I kind of got really emotional and I was like, wow, like, that is crazy how you can feel like God's hand in your life and like his presence. And that was before I started missionary discussions, but when I really started thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. So would you say like from them to now, you've really been able to see God's hand in your life and like, yes. seen that difference? Yeah. That's awesome. So I guess from, since you've had all these different experiences and things, what would you say to somebody that was thinking about joining the church or had just started meeting with missionaries or maybe just I don't know, so I'm walking on the street and it's like, huh, what's that? I don't know, yeah. what would you say to somebody um, that wants to learn a little bit more about the restored gospel of Jesus Christ? Um, I would tell them to definitely, even if they've never prayed, like for sure pray about it and even like pray about reading the Book of Mormon because I know that it's really hard to sit down and just read the Book of Mormon if you've never read something yeah, I'm like, sure. like that before. For me personally, like... I was told to read some of Nephi, so I started reading it, and it was just really difficult to read. So praying about reading it is, like, so amazing. And, like, I know it's kind of a hard start to, like, think about. Like, it's easier to say than to mm -hmm. do, to then to sit down and pray and read. But right. that's really, like, the best place to start. Even just speaking to friends that you know are in the church, or even if you don't have friends, like, reach out to missionaries mm -hmm. and know that, like, your path, like learning about the gospel and like reading isn't going to be straight and like don't get, get discouraged over that because like that's how everything you do is like nothing will, nothing's going to be a straight line in life and like that's part of God's plan for us. Like yeah. nothing's going to be perfect. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, I, I love that answer. I mean, nothing, nothing is perfect. That's, yeah. you know, life is hard. Um, but prayer and scripture study and I don't know, when you think about those individually, like reading a few pages or saying a prayer isn't an incredibly difficult thing, but sometimes mm -hmm. it can feel hard. Yeah. It can feel huge. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just love how you talked about just putting that effort forth because mm -hmm. I know for myself, I felt definitely pretty lazy before and I'm yeah. like, ah, I don't want to do it. It's a lot of work, you know, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so worth it. It's like, so worth yeah. it. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I, one of my final questions to you would just be how, how have you seen yourself how are you different today than you were like two years ago when you started this this path and this journey? I would just say like 
I don't want to say everything about me is different because that's obviously not true, <laughs> but like the way I live my life is so much more like meaningful and for Jesus Christ. Like part of like the reason I joined the church is so that I can serve like Jesus Christ and mm -hmm. going to the temple was amazing. Like being able to serve him and just seeing that when I like live in love for Heavenly Father, I feel better. So noticing day to day that I'm just a happier like person because I'm living for Jesus and like everything I do is for him and even the people I surround myself with from now to two years ago to uh, two years ago like surrounding myself with people who love me and love Jesus and just want the best for everyone around them it's so much more like refreshing and positive to be around people who like worship what you do and yeah. want to be supportive mm -hmm. and feeling supported not only by your friends but by Jesus is a huge thing yeah I love that no that that support is so huge and so yeah so important so you you talked a little bit about the temple and going to the temple how was that experience could you tell me a little bit more about that it was just so surreal yeah. um I went with two of my close friends my friend who actually baptized me mm -hmm. and we went and we did baptisms and confirmations and it's just so peaceful in the temple and even outside of the temple just like being in the house of the Lord and yeah. know that you're like there helping people who didn't get the experience I did to be baptized here on earth but that they have the option to be baptized like in heaven with Heavenly Father is like a great surreal feeling again like right. knowing that I personally can like help people make that choice also yeah no I love mm -hmm. that that is so cool and I I don't know I love the temple so yeah. much it's so cool um, and there's there really is just, just a special spirit in mm -hmm. there and it's just an incredible experience you know yeah um, I'm guessing you went to the Sacramento temple. Yes, that is so cool. It's so pretty. It is gorgeous. I know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, so you've had this journey. You've had all of these experiences where you've come to know Jesus Christ. Um, have you seen this impact like your family or friends at all? Or how has this influenced the other people in your life? Yeah. So I have been going to church for like almost two years now. Yeah. So my family, um, I did not grow up religious. I had never been to a church until I went to our church. And so um, just like that was definitely a new thing for my parents and my family, but they've watched me like go through this and I've talked to them about it. And I've seen my mom and like my sister goes to church now with some of our friends so cool. in the Loomis ward and she loves it. And she comes home and she asks me so many questions and like, it makes me feel so good that like I can be an example to her and I know that like I, me being a convert and like getting baptized and there's so many people that not only that I looked to and as, as an example that like now they look to me as an example. Mm -hmm. um, I've had member friends tell me that it's just so cool to like see the strength and courage I've had to like find the gospel and that is just like so like heartwarming I guess and knowing that being a disciple of Christ and like living for Christ and acting like Christ I can make an impact in people's lives but yeah with my family and my mom and my sister have gone to church a couple times and okay. like they just they've told me how it makes them feel like so happy and it's just a, such a cool experience even to just see what happens and sacrament and testimony meetings and see all the kids seeing it and like it's just so cool and mm -hmm. they seeing that they enjoy it like how I enjoy it is super amazing yeah that's incredible okay so like what what would you say like your favorite part of church is just because I'm curious <laughs> um my favorite part of church I love testimony meetings it's just so amazing and that was that's the first amazing. church meeting I went to so it's yeah I just love testimony and meetings they're so amazing the spirit is always so strong. Yeah, I yeah. agree completely. How do you feel the spirit? Like, how do you feel like you can connect with, with God through that? Um, just, I think, like, every day I've been trying to set aside time and, like, read my Book of Mormon and pray about reading the Book of Mormon and just kind of understanding it. And I know that when I do that, it helps me 
understand like Heavenly Father mm -hmm. and I know that when I do that like I draw closer to him each time I do that understanding yeah. like what he went through and like the atonement and everything like that so when I like make acts of service or take time out of my busy schedule to make time for him I can just feel the spirit so much closer with me yeah absolutely no and sometimes it is hard I'm sure you have seen blessings from that I don't yes. know do you have any specific things that you've seen from prioritizing him in your life? Just that um, good things happen. And like, I've had weeks where I've had tests and I've been so stressed out and I'm like, didn't make time to pray or even read my Book of Mormon. And then I did and I just felt like relaxed. And then I could like, it was like a breath of fresh air, like yeah. I could breathe. And then I would take my test and I would have such a good week just making sure that I'm prioritizing him and like prior prioritizing him, <laughs> but also prioritizing like how I serve him. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. I love that. And honestly, I think it's kind of funny, you know, like the more time we give away from, like we give to the savior that isn't necessarily studying or doing those things yeah. that we're stressed about, we're going to end up doing better because we're we're turning to God yes. and we're asking him for help exactly. and you know, he'll give us that help, yeah. which is just amazing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything else that you've thought of that you wanted to share or anything like that? Um, I just want to share my testimony that, yeah. um, I know like the church is true and I know that heavenly father has a plan for all of us and that we went on this path and I was put on this path so that one day I can be in heaven with him and that, just everything we do is for him and he'll always accept us and love us. And yeah. I just say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, and thank you so much for joining us today on Walking with Christ. Uh, we would love to see you here next week, same time, same place, um, 7 p.m. on Sunday. Have a absolutely great rest of your day. And thanks so much for tuning in and listening to Jillian. Bye. Bye. Hey there, I'm Elder Wendell. Thank you so much for choosing to grow closer to Jesus Christ with us. We are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and our focus is to help others to learn about Jesus Christ's gospel and how they can change and become new through the atonement of Jesus Christ. We can help you learn about Him and His restored gospel and how it can help you. Comment below or message us to learn more about it today.